Welcome to the Freeing ERP webcast. Today's session is about Profit 21 and five tips for using DynaChange Designer. Today we're going to talk about screen only columns, hiding a field even when it's locked, user defined fields, computed fields, and we're also going to talk about an idea for on screen work instructions. Okay, the first example is going to be the screen only column. So to get that started, we're going to go ahead and right mouse button. Hit DynaChange and then the Screen Designer to bring up the DynaChange Screen Designer window. Once we have that up, we're going to go to the Field Chooser. And then from there, we're going to select New. Change the field type to New Screen Only Column. Hit Edit. And then you can put in your column name. Once you put the column name in, the label and the description will automatically be filled in for you, but you can change them if you'd like. Then we have to select a data type. Here I'm going to pick alphanumeric and I'm going to give it a maximum length of 10 characters. Once you click OK, then you can drag the column from the field chooser onto the DynaChange screen designer and place the column wherever you'd like. Once that's done, just click Save. If you haven't already created a version of this screen, you'll need to do so. And you do that by putting in a version name, assign it to a role, and then the comments are also required. So then you just click OK to save it. Close out of the Screen Designer window. Then you have to close the window that you're working in and reopen it. And once you do that, you should see your screen only column. The second tip I'm going to give you is how to hide a column even when it's locked. Now you may want to do this because you want to hide a protected field, or if you try to hide the field, it breaks the program. So the way that you do that here is open up the DynaChain Screen Designer, select a column, and change its width to 1. This will effectively keep it from rendering on screen, but at the same time, it's still available to Profit 21 so that the program doesn't break. As with everything else, all you have to do is save it, close and reopen the window, and your column should be hidden. Next, we're going to talk about adding a user-defined field. To start this, right-click, select DynaChange in the Screen Designer, open the version of the screen you want to work on, then right-click and select the Field Chooser. Click New, and then your field type will be a new database column. Once you select that, click Edit. And once you do that, you put in the column name, and the label and description will automatically populate themselves, but you can change them if you'd like. Then select your data type. Here we're going to choose alphanumeric. We're going to give it a maximum length of about 20 characters. Click OK. Click OK again, and then the column is available for you. Now you can drag the column from the field chooser onto the DynaChange Screen Designer window. Then save it, and as always, you're going to need to close the window that you're working in and then reopen it. Once you've done that, you should see your new user-defined field. Next, we're going to add a computed field to Profit 21. This is great for doing calculations on the fly that only need to be displayed on screen. So in this example, we're going to go ahead and open up the DynaChange Screen Designer, click Insert from the top menu, then select Computed Field. Then you click approximately where you want the field to be displayed. In this example, I'm going to use the year function, and inside the function, I'm going to put the return date. This will allow me to have a screen field that shows the year of the return date, and it's calculated on the fly. So I'm going to click Verify to make sure the expression is OK. Once it is, I'm going to hit OK, save the version of my DynaChange, and then as always, I'm going to have to close and reopen the main screen that I'm working in to be able to see the change. The last tip for today is using DynaChange Screen Designer to create work instructions that appear in the transaction windows. So we're just going to open DynaChange Screen Designer up, insert a text field, and then into that text field we're just going to type in whatever the work instruction is that we want to provide. This is a really simple application of DynaChange Screen Designer, but what it does do is help new users and users who may sometimes have trouble remembering how to correctly do a transaction. Doing this can cut down on rework and it can increase productivity because people aren't constantly trying to remember how to do the thing right. So I hope you enjoyed these five tips that we provided for DynaChange Screen Designer. Remember to check out our other webcasts at freeingerp.com, and we look forward to seeing you next time.